So, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to the hot lead zone. And as you know, Glock advertises that their barrels, because of the Glock advanced rifling, gives increased bullet velocity, resulting in enhanced accuracy. Well, since I have lone wolf cut rifling barrels, it's easy to make a comparison between the Glock advanced rifling and the lone wolf cut rifling. So to do this test, we have a hundred rounds of Federal Factory Hardball Ammo. There's the end of the carton. We're going to shoot out of our factory Glock barrel and then the Lone Wolf barrel to see if the velocity has any difference between the Glock rifling and the Lone Wolf cut rifle. So first the Glock factory barrel with the Glock rifling. Okay, so here are the velocity readings with the Glock factory barrel. 10 rounds. 771, 782, 787, 777, 795, 782, 788, 769, 768, and 804. High of 804, low of 768. Oh, that's not too good. Average 782. Spread of 36. Deviation of 11. Not bad. Okay, so now we're going to switch barrels out to the main wolf barrel. Okay, let's shoot that good ammo now through the the lone wolf barrel and see what kind of uh, velocity we get. So that last run with the wolf barrel, 10 shots, 811, 807, 815, 819, 803, 817, 808, 821, 806, and 798. High of 821, low of 798. Average of 810, spread of 23, deviation of 7. So that is pretty good, uh, that is pretty good ammo from Federal. So here's the accuracy, 12 and a half yards from arrest, with the Lone Wolf barrel and the Federal 230 grain full metal jacket hardball. The lone wolf barrel is pretty accurate, and then here is the Glock barrel. Got a couple flyers, 
but uh, basically it'll shoot about on par with the lone wolf barrel. Well, what happened today? We expected the Glock factory advanced rifling barrel to give us more velocity than the cut rifling lone wolf barrel. We expected to have lower standard deviation with the Glock barrel. We expected to have a little more accuracy with the Glock barrel. But what happened in our case here was that the lone wolf barrel actually got a little more velocity by 12 feet per second, got more advantageous standard of deviation by four less, 11 compared to seven, seven for this one, and then a little better accuracy if you consider the two flyers that this barrel gave us. So that was kind of surprising, but still the small sampling size here cannot be used to make general conclusions. I would think that with other Glock models and other Glock calibers might very well find that the results will be reversed. And also the Federal 230 grain full metal jacket ammunition, even though it's got low standard deviation, shoots very accurately, it's a little bit underpowered. I expected around 850 feet per second and only got 800, 810. I would rate both these barrels as being excellent, equal in performance, the Glock cleans easier, and the Lone Wolf probably shoots cast bullets better, but they're both good barrels. Bye for now.